Aubrey O'Day was mm-hmm. very, very vocal uh, in warning artists Aubrey. not to sign um, that contract to get their publishing back. NDA. W- was, was the contract in the crazy in any way? No, nah, it was just like, you know, um, they just didn't want you to talk about Puff the deal, whatever, you know, the business dealing that, you know, that he gave your publishing back. You're not supposed to talk about him or uh, not the bad boy company or Janice Combs, anything in that that falls under that umbrella. But again, I told him I wrote a whole book about it and there's no way that I'm going to sign. I, I can't stop talking about my book. Not unless you want me to stop talking about the book, then we can pay for it and then I'll stop talking about it, right? But there's no way in the world I can, you, I'm grandfathered into my book. So my book was there before this contract come. So there was like, really, that's another reason why when he was given the publishing back and I was like, okay, if he said he going to do the right thing, I was going to do the right thing. Cause there's no way in the world for me to not promote my book without talking about him. And at that time I was like, you know what, if that's what you want to do. I bet I'm with it. I'm a, I'm a stop. And I don't really promote the that, book that's that That's why much. I was about to I go. Didn't do it. You wrote that book in 2009. It is now 2023. Mm-hmm. You, you. 2023. Yeah, that, that book is at, it's that 14 years old. That book is still selling. Yep. The Bible, the Bible was written longer than that. And it's the number one selling book in the world. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got me on that one, Mark. You got me on that one. Yeah. So, okay. So, so if you don't mind me yeah. asking, so if you don't like mind it. me asking, and, and it's all right if you say, uh, I, I I don't want to share that information, but how well does your book sell to this date, and how how much revenue are you earning from it annually? I might make like last month. I made I sold a uh, hundred books last month. I might sell a hundred books, eighty books, ninety a month. But it's been going on like that since two thousand nine. So sometimes I get low because I stop promoting it. I don't get out and say anything about it. So I leave it alone, then it might not sell that many, you know, but then once something hot, like when anytime Puff does something in the news, the book starts selling out the roof. And what and what's so, your you know, split with I, Amazon? I, 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 uh Amazon, I got it um for nineteen dollars I sell the book. Um I think they give me nine dollars and they take nine dollars. Or seven, I might get seven eighty eight or nine dollars, but they handle the printing and the shipping and delivery. So um, that's like a pretty cool deal. I don't have to print any books. Uh, I don't have to worry about the order. They just order it straight from Amazon, whether it's Barnes and Nobles or wherever the bookstore may be. They get it right from Amazon. Amazon ships to them. Prints so you and ships. you seeing anywhere so, between seven hundred and about nine hundred a thousand dollars a month off your book? Okay, fair yeah. enough. I, yeah, sometimes a little lower, mm-hmm. sometimes lower, but like last month was a good month. This month is starting off as a, as a good month because people, are, you know, information never gets old. One thing about a book, it, the, the, it'll always continue to always sell. So that's another reason why I wrote the book. It was another form of publishing that I felt like I wanted to get oh. into. You know, um, maybe write something that you know about my life, and that let it just keep on selling, and I don't have to keep going back to revisit it. You know, so that's why I wrote it. I wrote a book. Let me ask you something. You know, something interesting. After a conversation mm-hmm. like this, do you think that um, anything was said that would make you say, "Yo, let me go write a part two to this book"? Maybe the way I felt in '09 is not the same way that I feel in 2023. And I just see things a little different as a businessman, as an artist, but also as mm-hmm. as a mature father, husband, uh, you know, just just right. somebody who's getting older. The, the book was right. The book was so so much written about you know about me and my life that it's a story about me. So I don't think that I would ever change that because every time I read it, I, I open up the book and I just it just reminds me of my life. So it's not nothing like uh, you open up the book and then it's about puff, 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 puff. The book is not like that. It's not down bashing them or nothing like that. It's just about my life. You know, watching, you know, my mother and father dying, um, 
me trying to accomplish certain things before they pass, um, you know, losing family, things like that, all while trying to be this artist. Like so much stuff that I lost trying to chase this dream that if I had to do it again, I don't think I would I would do it again because I didn't spend enough time being a father. Um, I didn't spend enough time being a husband, a brother, a friend. I was spending more time being an artist and just chasing that. I was just chasing it, just wanted it. And I remember they say, if you chase something, that means it's running from you. So I stopped chasing it. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.